All right. Good morning, traders. It is Wednesday, August uh, August eighteenth. So I'm switching things up here a bit. I'm pulling a switcheroo. Uh, I got to take my fiance to work. We're a one car family right now, so can't do the prep live. I'll see you on Friday, but still gonna put together a prep video for you. So let's fly. Uh, let's fly through it. S and P five hundred looks good here. So a little bit of volatility yesterday. All we did was come down and test the twenty one, and we closed right back up here near the eight. And we're near the 8 this morning, so it's pretty much what we've been doing for the last handful of weeks. So, to me, S&P 500 still looks good. And the Qs, you kind of break your 21 yesterday. Uh, you close above it, just pretty good stuff. And you look solid here this morning. So, structure still holds up there for the SPY. Structure holds up for the Qsters and for the Dow. Nothing changing here as well. So, those three look good. Looking at... Uh, the Russell here, the small caps, got an alert here at the 21. I would actually look to short it again uh, on a bounce. Now that momentum is dying down. You got a structure here where no stack DMAs, you got a daily squeeze, no real green 10x bars on shorter term time frames, and momentum is starting to die down here. So we'd like to short that again. We already put a little bit of money in our pocket, though we didn't catch much of a move. So few different spots in the market that I like here. One is the industrials. Um, and pretty straightforward, right? Good looking daily squeeze, good looking three day squeeze, and a good looking weekly. I like all of that. And then if you look at something like a 3M, same exact structure, weekly three day daily squeeze, UMP is same exact structure, weekly three day daily, and then Honeybun here, Honeywell, Beautiful weekly squeeze. So I love when the ETF itself has that triple squeeze or in an uptrend, bullish momentum, all the good stuff. And then two or three of the bigger names in that basket are setting up just as nice. So keep an eye on the industrials here in the mastery. We got some in the money calls that expire in September. And I also think you keep an eye here on communications, XLC. Beautiful weekly uptrend, whole bunch of bullish momentum. And we find ourselves here with. A brand new daily squeeze of the solid structure. So we also got some in the money calls here uh, in the mastery. And XLC is pretty much, you know, Facebook, who I really like here. Solid daily squeeze in Facebook. Granted, today's going to be day two in the mastery in the options room. Um, I'm already pricing out a couple trades for us here. But XLC is basically Facebook. It is Google, which is just rock solid here. Uh, and then something like a Comcast with a beautiful daily three-day and weekly squeeze. So the same thing as the industrials. The basket looks good, and you got a couple of studs in the basket that are looking just as good. Uh, primarily Facebook here. So I'm looking for a little bit of exposure here in the old book face. And I think you keep that on your watch list. And then one more group here. Uh, not the most exciting group, but real estate, IYR. So you do have a great daily squeeze. A lot of bullish momentum, a really solid uptrend. And if you look at a few of the names in that basket, AMT here uh, looks really bullish, really solid. You've got PSA, which is public storage. Bullish baby, uh, DRE. Right, so uh, are you picking up what I'm putting down here, folks? I like squeezes in the ETF itself mixed with a bunch of good-looking squeezes in... Uh, the cast of characters in that sector. So real estate, industrials, and communications here, I think look rock solid. So communications, you're looking at Facebook, Google, Comcast. Industrials, you're looking at 3M, UMP, Honeywell. And then real estate, I think you just look at IYR. Uh, there's not too much liquidity in there. So those are a few places we got positions here uh, in the mastery. We got put credit spreads in IYR and then calls in the industrials and the communication sector. So that's what we're rocking with here. Going to keep an eye on Facebook. And then for Tesla, so you get some news here this week. Uh, to be frank, I might have been sure what the news is about. Didn't really look into it. I still like the structure. So you're coming down here towards your 50 yesterday. You broke it temporarily. Good close back above the 50. We're pretty much, at the end of the day, it kind of made an average move. So that Keltner channel, that big fella right there, that's just measuring one average true range move underneath and obviously above the 21 EMA. 
So yeah, we broke that at one point yesterday, but all said and done, kind of an average move there. So I think if you can look at it from that perspective, and then my perspective is, I'm trading the weekly squeeze here. Uh, and not a damn thing changed about the weekly. At all. Three days squeeze, which I'm a fan of. Nothing changed about that at all either. So sure, uh, I get you. If you're slinging some out the money calls it expired this Friday, that pullback probably sucks. Uh, if you got put credit spreads down at 640 that expire in September, and you're playing the weekly here, I think you still got to be a big fan of old Tesla. So, a couple things there uh, that I'm keeping an eye on, a couple open positions. And then looking at the semis here real quick, you're getting a pullback here. You did close under your 50, so we'll keep an eye on that in the short term. But the weekly squeeze looks really good here. Big fan of the weekly squeeze. So I think NVIDIA has earnings tonight. See how that goes. Uh, AMD's got a great looking weekly squeeze that is already fired long. And I bet you if we just stay within this range here, uh, we're going to give birth to a brand new daily squeeze. Well, it's going to give birth to a brand new daily squeeze. And this is just about as bullish as it gets. So give me a daily squeeze here. I shall trade it. And then just one last thing here. So for those of you that took my class a uh, couple weeks back there in July, if you did the elite portion of the live trading, our last open position here from the class is Broadcom. So this position expires next Friday. We have put credit spreads down here at 470. And you're still holding the structure in a daily squeeze. So I think we got a small profit at the moment on this. We get a little bit of a bounce here. I'll send out the alert in the classroom. We'll take it off for... 60 70 percent of max profit and then we're wrapping up a really good class so between the pro and the elite live trading broadcom goes good here we're going five for five on class trades which is awesome that's kind of my goal uh, you make the investment in your trading career to join the class learn a few things and then i'm gonna give you a couple trades hopefully can pay for if not the whole class at least a good chunk of it so uh what do we hit we hit walmart we had the daily squeeze we sold our put spread cashed out uh we had a trade on nvidia which is back here daily squeeze i believe there was a four hour squeeze uh yep and there it blows there she blows so we hit walmart we hit nvidia we hit some calls on dropbox playing that squeeze right there that was a nice trade and believe it or not <laughs> we actually walked away with a small profit on our put credit spread on peloton because we sold puts down at, I don't even know how deep up we were. We were, we were at 105 or 108, something crazy. I think we took like 20% of the max profit. So, 4 for 4 there on the closed trades. And then Broadcom is a, is a lone wolf right now. Last one open. So, going to keep an eye on that one. Love to go 5 for 5. But for the rest of y'all, I hope you have a good couple of days here. Um, if Chandler isn't live with you Friday morning... I'll be live with you again, but I think the key lesson here this week is focus on structure. You try to short the market yesterday because your 15-minute chart looks ugly. You're, you're shortened to support. It's just a good-looking daily squeeze. Same thing with the cues. So go get them, y'all. Hope you have a good couple of days here. Uh, and as always, if you're interested in checking out the mastery, just head on over to simplertrading.com. Go to the memberships tab. Hit mastery. Ah, oh, there's the goat, the goat himself, godfather of the squeeze. Ah, uh, but you can check out the compounding growth mastery. We're already rocking and rolling in there. So, go get them. Hope you have a good day, and I will talk to you all soon. Appreciate you watching, as always.